I think the answer is very simple. I say, as an imam from the pulpits of the mosques where I give sermons, that if you dislike Britain so much that you would even contemplate attacking it, why don't you just hand over your passport and leave? However, if you dislike the policies of this government, participate in the electoral process, take office, stand in the election, vote, engage at local level. If you're not willing to do that, then just stay quiet. Many of us are very active at our local level, whether it is to do with the uh, helping the local crime enforcement team or to clean up our streets. What we as Muslims have a duty to do, as well as any human being, is to work together for a better future. In terms of radicalizing our young people or seeing why they're radicalized, that's a bigger debate we must have. And we must, of course, eliminate any reasons that give any credence to or fan the fuel of hatred. We must work together in it and not isolate Muslims and non-Muslims from it. One vote, one trouble, and the solution must come together united. Is it actually possible, however, if someone is going to be persuaded along that uh, jihadist uh, route that really that's a mindset that's very difficult to, to alter? Well, if somebody thinks the world, the earth is flat yeah. and there is conspiracy that nobody went to the moon, you and I can cry as much as we like and scream with our highest of voices. They may not listen to you and I. I think what is important is to understand that vast majority of the people of the world don't fall in that twisted mindset. vast majority of us are normal. We work along every day, work hard for our families, just like this soldier who has died, a father. I have a young son, I can feel for him and his family. You know what? We need to stay together. We don't need to become derailed by the mantra of these idiots. I have a very strong and a very clear message. These people who have done this, if they have done it in the name of God, well, no God would ever accept murder, and there is no God in such heinous crime. If they have done it in the name of Islam, Islam condemns it categorically. And if they have done it because they want to go to heaven, well, those who murder will never smell heaven. And if they have done it in the name of Muslims, no Muslim would support them. So these are simple lone rangers, criminal thugs, low-life scums. Put them in the uh, prisons and keep them there for a long time. Ismail Masroor, thank you very much indeed uh, for your thoughts and words tonight here on Sky News. Thank you.